So we're plotting points in the Cartesian coordinate system. And all that means is that with our first value, that's our x. And our second value, that's y. And with x, we're going left and right. So we have our point here with x. x is left and right. And y, we go up and down y units. If, if x is negative, we go to the left. If x is positive, we go to the right. If y is negative, we go down. If y is positive, we go up. So our first point is negative 2, 1. So what that means is that we go two units to the left and one unit up. If you don't have a scale on your graph, typically uh, you just assume that it's one. I'm going to go ahead and make each two units one. So this is one, two, three, four, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, same thing in the y direction, one, two, three, four, negative one, negative two, negative three, and negative four. You can use whatever scale you want uh, as long as you're graphing each point on the same scale. So with negative two, one, we go two units to the left. So one, two units to the left, and one unit up. So this point right here is negative two, one. If you want to, you can always draw arrows or, tr or, you know, basically the legs of a triangle, two units to the left, one unit up, so you know right where it is. We're also asked to identify what quadrants it in. So we have, as far as quadrants are concerned, we start at the upper right and we work our way counterclockwise so to the left this would be quadrant two this is quadrant three and this is quadrant four anytime we have a negative x value and a positive y value we're going to end up in the second quadrant over here so this is quadrant two Negative three, negative one. We go three units to the left, so one, two, three units to the left, and one unit down. So this point right here is negative three, negative one. Anytime we have a negative x value and a negative y value, we're going to be in quadrant three. So 4, negative 4, our x is positive, our y is negative, so we're going to go to the right and down. So 4 units to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 4 units down, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this point right here is going to be 4, negative 4. Anytime we have a positive x value and a negative y value, we're going to end up in the fourth quadrant. With part D, we have negative 4, 4. So the x is negative, the y is positive, so we're going to be going to, be going to the left and up. That's the same as we had in part A. So that means we're going to be in quadrant two again because x is negative and y is positive so four units to the left one two three four and four units up one 
two, three, four. That's the point negative four, four. And last but not least with part E, we have negative four, three halves. And again, that's negative x, positive y. So we're going to end up in the second quadrant again. Four units to the left. One, two, three, four. And three halves units up. That's one and a half. So one and a half. So this point right here is going to be negative four, three halves. And again, this is just an introduction to the rectangular coordinate system. Uh, we go, if we have x, y, x determines where we're going left and right. Y determines where we're going up and down. We just count the number of units uh, to the left if it's negative for, for x, to the right if it's positive for x, down if it's negative for y, and up if it's positive for y.